Hey, Sam here. Let's talk about Nexus GPT. Just a few seconds to check my huge list of high quality bonuses included in this software. Contactless business cards are the future of networking. Nexus GPT is a cloud-based app that allows you to create and sell digital business cards. With just one touch, users can connect, make payments, access information, visit your website, send email, and more. You can choose template in any niche and customize with GPT Assistance, the AI-powered Chat GPT Assistant. Nexus GPT lets you create and sell contactless business cards in just three steps. Step number one, business card. Choose one of the templates and customize your digital business card with a drag and drop editor. Step number two, GPT assistance. Customize the GPT Assistant with your brand colors. You can customize the avatar with your picture and you can upload your logo, enter your info and generate your assistant. Step number three, emails and leads. You can create broadcasts and manage your leads inside the app. Connect your autoresponder inside integrations. Prices and OTOs included in this software. So, hello my friend. So, once you will create your own business, it will welcome you with your name. And here you can create the business card, which is the key function of our software. So, I will explain you this. You can directly create the card from here. So, you can just, you just have to log in and you can directly jump onto the feature, which we actually introduce no access GPT so just uh, beside that you will get this total cards total visitors the popular card which are trending right now the recent cards which we have used and the email list of you so this is the simple dashboard of Nexus GPT next thing I'm going to explain you about this welcome to Pike and how you will create a card of your business so what you have to do is you just have to click on this create card business and you will directly jump on to your business cards so these are uh, your business cards which I recently used or created so if I use them they will show the public and live and if I working on them and I just want to change something or I just roughly made it it will go shows me the public and the draft so it's in my draft so again I'm just going to edit it for you so I'm just clicking on this edit button so here you will see all these business cards which you're getting the cool cool feature and the most recent trending now next is the GPT assistant so as soon as I'll click on this GPT assistant which is a very interesting and important feature of next GPT so this is the chat GPT as well which I recently opened with you this is the image which shows on the header part of your you can add the color of the header you can add it the image of your avatar so suppose I'm just giving it like how may I help you okay so how may I help you? I have put it this and if you really want to change the color you can just change the color from here so I just change it you can change your logo too so I'm just putting my logo suppose I'm putting this on my logo so and there you enable the chat booth over there so here you have to give a kind of hint or prompt to the chat booth that how he will assist or which regarding to which of your business or which category of your business he want to assist the end users so what I'll say suppose you have a query of sales related because we are always we just want to make our sales increase so 
what I will do is I will put the assistant type how it will react to my customers as it sees executive okay the description if we will say so if any of the customer is asking related to these things like product recommendations sales strategy optimization or any appointment scheduling he will assist or he or she or the chatbot will assist my end user regarding to these keywords so this is what the assistant description is assistant goal so overall with this query what you want to push to your users like so the assistant goal of my I choose to increase your sale performance and streamline your workflow so this is what I actually want in the conclusion of my any query so this is what assistant functionality it will see assistant functionality is sales related task I'm giving it to because my I choose the whole sales funnel will say so this is what if, if you want to change the system functionality like suppose if you want to beat your customer or just want to tell them that you are not available right now and you will come back after some days or your business is right now running in a maintenance operation so you can just give the name as a customer success executive or representative in your office or in your premises which will greet your customer or inform your customer for the same so once you will do all these things you just have to do enable this chatbot and generate the assistant so once you will do this you will see over here the AI assistant generated I will show you the final result for this also so just right now we are moving ahead with the mail section so the next feature is mails I'm clicking on this mail section and in mails you can see all your detailed campaigns which you have recently launched or in lead section you will get the leads management system so here we actually divide into three parts which are contact list and the suppression list next jumping on to the analytics section which is very important and which forecast your business so clicking on this analytics button we'll see the analytics over here like audience contacts and mails so in audience so this is the overview of my analytics click on this technology section in this technology tier you will get to know about the operating system of your customer like who is using what kind of seat. so you can optimize your site according to that to increase your flow of customer and here you will see the browser what you're using the device they're using isn't minimizing this is the integration window and as you are seeing already i'm integrated with aviber so it's showing me on my main screen and as you want to add any kind of integration or the list of integration what you have to do is you just have to click on this new integration button and and here you will get all the options related to the integration section in the different tabs so in autoresponder you are having these top class we'll say uh, autoresponders including the Pabli, Malwarelite, Malview, Sandio, Sandgrid and many more MailChimp so these are the get response Aviva these are the top related integration which is very essential or must have the autoresponders then we have we got your cover with the CRM Salesforce Infusion Hubsoft webinar we are having option with go to webinar demo and in content provider you're getting Pixabay pixels and shutterstock drives we are having with Google Drive Dropbox and OneDrive in payment section you will get the PayPal stripe pay.com jvzu clickbank and warrior plus so this is all about the integration last but not the least the setting option here you will get all your option related to the application uh, here you will see the business profile so you can edit it fully customizable and editable you can just put your logo your fab icon 
to make it two layers. Next is we'll see this in the user profile so business is the same section which we are right now editing and the second is the team member so you can manage all your team members over here and you can just click over here to log out your window and it will log out you from the next switch.